Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons video number 34. Hey, these are the videos that accompany the book. We're still in chapter 5. You are not going to believe what we see in this video. We're talking about chapter 5 formulas. We've got to talk about the goal seek feature to complete what if analysis. We're in the workbook Excel is Fun Start. You can download this from the link below the video or from get it from the DVD. We're on the sheet. GS for Goal Seek. Now here's the situation. We create formulas. Cell references are pointing to formula inputs. And what if analysis is the beauty of Excel. You simply say, I want to know what the total revenue will be if I change that to 1600. What if I change it to 1400? Absolutely beautiful. What if? That's what we do. Most of us, we go from the formula inputs, and then we change these, and the formula updates. We change this, the formula obeys, and changes the formula result. But what if you want to go backwards? What if you want to tell the formula, hey, formula, give me the answer 500,000, and then you figure out how to change the number in B3? That is exactly what Goal Seek does. Data ribbon, what if analysis, Goal Seek. Now, I still remember the keyboard shortcut from earlier versions under the Tools menu. Alt TG. And there it is. It's a little teeny thing. But watch this. Set cell, that cell has to have the formula. Value, you type in what you want the formula to evaluate to. By changing cell, that's the formula input you want Goal Seek to change. So get it? Formula, you tell the formula what you want it to uh, evaluate to, and you tell it what input cell you want it to change. And it iterates back and forth until it gets the answer. And then I'm going to click OK. So the answer is 20,000. Goal Seek absolutely amazing. We'll see you next video.